We are going to weigh out the sand and make sure to use the weight after you've corrected the calculation. And then we'll go get cement. Dump the sand into our mixing location. Retear it if needed. The amount of cement, you had to calculate it in advance based on the standard. And then you get water as last item. Put the cement in here. Make sure to get all of it. We are going to mix the water with the cement and the sand. And once we start mixing, it will start hydrating. So you want to get all of the ingredients mixed. Um, you want to take a note of what it looks like and report it in your uh, lab report. Note whether it looks like it's a dry mix or if it looks more sticky, if it holds its shape. And then we're ready to fill it in. You want to fill it in halfway, each one. Start in one corner and go one, two, three, four, in a pattern all the way across. And same direction on the bottom side, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees so that the long way is perpendicular with where we just were. And we'll do again four and four. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And you'll see now it's compacted to hopefully half the inch height. So. The previous time was 16 times total of pushing down. Again, it's 16 total, making it 32 for the entire cube. If you need to add more, since you're a little low, you can add more in the process. Use the back side of the trowel to finish it. Clean the around the molds. Label them so that you know which set was what water cement ratio you did or what drying condition you need to do. When you're done, and you come back the next day, you can demold by undoing the wing nuts. And then the whole thing can rotate out. You can also undo the ends. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then if you had greased it well, it should all come out. Label them with what your water cement ratio is and whether you're going to moist cure them or air dry them. If they're moist cured, they go in the moist cured bath, which is the one with the water. All right, if they're dry cured or air dried, they're going to just sit in a tray so they get room temperature and air dry. So just make sure you put them in there and leave room for all the other groups in the lab. And then you will come back the following week uh, during your lab session to test these. Make sure to clean your molds so they need to be scraped clean. If you have any cement on there, you can scrape the cement off of it. So you need to spray the oil right onto it or you can spray it directly under the towel. But you can use that to kind of polish it and clean it up. And you are looking for seeing all of the brass. If you have any spots that have a light white color, that means there's still concrete on it, so make sure you clean that off. And that includes the back side. Get all of the chunks off of the back. And then clamp all of the sides and the top down with the wing nuts. That is it. Make sure to put that away and come back in a week to test those.